this week we're at the Robertson Holden International Speedway for the Air Conditioning and Plumbing Stock Car King of the Arena in conjunction with the Manawatu Speedway Club. Over 50 cars are set to take the track but only one can be crowned King at the end of the night or will it even be Queen? Before we go racing let's catch up with two of our national champions 1NZ Ben Smith and 2NZ Tyler Walker as well as local hopeful 172P Daniel Burmester. Before you became 1NZ, um, I'll be fair, Ben Smith wasn't really a name I knew a lot of. So um, how long's Ben Smith been racing in the stock car class? So, like, how long? How old's this car? And, and where, where's the speedway background come from for Ben Smith, the New Zealand champion? Um, yeah, I've been floating around in stock cars for a while. Um, probably, yeah, probably in the earlier years of stock cars, this probably certainly wasn't, um, wasn't out to chase the flags, if, as you'd say. Um, but no... Nah, um, Obviously, we've followed stock cars since my old man. You know, my old man raced when, when I was younger. He used to go out, and we've sort of had a passion for it ever since then, you know. So, so now it's been cool. And, um, yeah, this car we've now we've had for about three years, and we've just sort of come to grips with it. So it's um, pretty exciting coming up these ways with a full field of cars and, and um, yeah, do our best to, to race around and have a good time. So, no, it'll be good. Pretty exciting to come to uh, track, the, the home of teams racing here, Palmerston North, with the 1NZ on the car too. Yeah, no, it is. It is pretty cool. It's, yeah, it would have been nothing but a dream a couple of years ago. So, it is kind of cool to um, yeah get the car up here. And I love this track, and that's why we sort of always said before we get rid of the car and stockies and stuff, we we wanted to get it up here and and race around the track because obviously it's you know the home of stock cars f- for us. So, that's no, pretty cool. It's been um, pretty surreal, you know, to have the one on the side of the car is pretty pretty cool. And um, yeah, no, it's something I'll cherish forever, I suppose. So, no, it's been cool. No, it's um, it's it's all it's all. We've had a lot of good people um, behind the scenes that have helped us out as well. Like we wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't be where we are without a lot of guys that have helped me out and all my sponsors and and everyone. So it's cool. So yeah, it'd be good to finish in these last sort of few meetings after the New Zealand title. The car will be for sale. So um, yeah, anyone sort of wanting a good stock car can come <laughs> down and have a have a have a chat to us in the pits. So. Last year at this event, it was uh, all fun and games again too for you. Got the single wing on tonight. Uh, Surely you want to qualify and um, let the serious business happen in the finals, though. Yeah, well, we've got the GP in, like, I've got three days to get ready for that, so I don't really want to blow a wing apart getting fed in the fence or something like that. So I thought I might as well chuck a single in there and just leave the double at home. How has the actual season gone building up to this event, though? Oh, it's been pretty good, eh? Like, I've had a pretty good run at home. I think everyone else seems to be having a pretty good season so far, so... I don't think there's been, I haven't done too much racing, I think it's like my fourth meeting or something like that, so there's a lot of Palmy cars in, in here tonight, so I'd say it might be an interesting final again like last week, but I don't know, it's stock cars, you know, anything can happen, so. And uh, the two NZ on the car this year, obviously, um, I'm going to say, you want to put a three on it for a change? I'd love to put a three on it, to be honest. <laughs> no, yeah, I'd be happy with a three, but um, I don't know, any number's good, like in the sport, you know, like anything can happen, you've got to have so much luck to start with, you know, like, yeah, it's, it's a pretty big game, so. When you uh, we've got 140 other cars out there and anyone can turn right on you, it makes it pretty interesting. So, yeah, any number in this sport is um, is pretty good, mate. Um, I'm going to say four NZ because we've already talked to one and two. But uh, <laughs> Burmy, mate, uh, having the title at home, you, you were actually on form there at the Mental Twos last week, and then Heat Three obviously it, it played its part as it does. But uh, looking forward to a big uh, big night, a big field, and another championship. Yeah, no, it's good. Last year was pretty good, but. I ran into some computer issues last week, uh, last year, so hopefully get on top of them this week and press on. But last week was good. We had to put a new clutch in this week. They were slipping all night, but no, nah, it all seems good. I mean, New Zealand champion Ben Smith's here, Tyler Walker here, two NZ. There's some uh, some pretty healthy competition to have for this title, and uh, plenty of money up for grabs too. They'll be all wanting it. Yeah, I've been rubbing bumpers with them for the last couple of seasons now, so it's been good to be right up there near, near the front with them. So to race on my home track with them rather than have to travel to do it, be quite cool. Have some good racing out there. How's it? How's it uh, racing with Dad? It's uh, it's been a while since we've had Farmer in the car, and the, the tank's looking pretty good. Yeah, well, it's actually actually quite nerve wracking at times. You see a <laughs> see a red light or an ambulance or something come out, and you think, shit, I hope that's not me Dad. But no, other than that, it's pretty cool lining up with them, and I'm actually on grid 15, he's 16 this time, so that'd be quite cool. Have we got the ELS system tonight, so we should be able to give you the uh, lap times and certainly a far better uh, idea of where the lead car is. But look at those, right across the field, 66, had a pretty good go, but 5 was the one that eventually got through. 5 is car, Adam Stratford. Is he 
he's getting hassled. Stand straight now. Just one to go. He takes it. Group one, heat one, 46p Brett Kelly takes the win from 667p Hamish McLeod. And coming home third, 26V, Kaylin Mooney. Utes department got the greens. We're racing. And the 6 is right on the pole. He's the first one. That's Bradley Pajerski. He'd want to stay there as long as he possibly could. 82 has managed to sneak up on him. He's just off his bumper. That's Roy Little and Stanley. Going between now three and four. A little bit of a skirmish at the back, but uh, everybody's still pretty much there. Let's see whether uh, that 82 can go, get through this time. Not this time. The success is still the lead car. So we've got Pajewski, we've got Wynn Stanley, Tony Norman sitting in third place, Luke Healy in the 18P. He's uh, sitting in fourth, and Luke Myers in the fifth place at the moment. We want to get some of these other drivers a little bit up towards the point here. Daniel Burmester, he's down in seventh place at the moment, the 172 car. Then we've got the uh, Brent Rollins car, the 97P at ninth. And the Kyle Taylor car, the 278 former Battle of Two Champs, sitting in 10th position at the moment. The moment out of the tour, the lead car, Luke Myers, in the 15, driving the race of his life, Roy with Stanley. Whoa! Somebody hits up, I think it might have been the 29 P, hit them in game two. Uh, so we've got Myers, Norman, Healy, Smith, and the 267 in the fifth place at the moment. Got a couple of laps to go, won't be long before that points out, but uh, no doubt at all, a great race by uh, young group Myers. Here, the 15P picked up the white, and behind him would be uh, the 82 car of Royden with Stanley Tony Norman. Is he in the 72? Then we go back to the 80 car of Luke Healy. Coming around on the final lap now, keep your eye on uh, Luke Myers on the 15. 15P looks like he's going to take uh, the second heat, does too, right in the middle. To heat 1, 15P, Luke Myers takes the win from 82P, Reuterwin Stanley, and in third place, 72P, Tony Norman. Exactly what you didn't want.
on the way. One heat two and it's two NZ Tyler Walker that takes the win from 76p Cameron Renwick and in third place once again 26v Kaylin Mooney. Two, heat 2 and after DNF in Heat 1 it's 29p Stu Rackham taking the win from the 172p of Daniel Burmester and backing up his win 15p Luke Myers in 3rd
Well, the win wasn't enough in qualifying, but a win in the Repercharge sees Stu Rackham through to the finals. 35P Matt Fippin home in second, and 6V Dion Mooney home in third. Go green! might just be a pain. First heat of Stock Car King of the Arena Finals done and 172p Daniel Burmester takes the win from 76p Cameron Renwick and in third place it's our New Zealand champion 1NZ Ben Smith.
Second heat of the finals for Stock Car King of the Arena. Tensions are starting to bubble up, but it was 79p. Kyle Rowe that took advantage from Pole, taking the win there. 267s, Carlin Painter Dudley home in second, and Stu Rackham, 29p, comes home in third. So after two heats, it's 172p, Daniel Burmester leading on 57 points. 76p, Cameron Renwick on 54. 79p, Kyle Rowe has 52. 667p, Hamish McLeod on 51. And tied for fifth, 267s, Carlin Painter Dudley. And 29p, Stu Rackham sitting on 48 points. Those are your title hopefuls going in to heat three. Stock car, king of the arena. Absolutely chaotic final third heat and it was 29p Stu Rackham that comes home with the win. 79p Kyle Rowe drove very smart for a second placing and in third place 18p Luke Healy. After a huge third heat which saw us lose our points leader Daniel Burmester the 172. In the end 
79p, Kyle Rowe comes home as the new King of the Arena champion on 81 points. 29p, Stu Rackham in second on 78. And in third place, 76p, Cameron Renwick on 77. Well, there we have it. Another exhilarating night of action at the Robertson Holden International Speedway with the ACP Stock Car King of the Arena. So, to sign us off, it's the new king, it's the rising star of the Palmerston North Stock Car ranks, 79p, Kyle Rowe. It's only been a couple of seasons in stock cars, but, mate, that's a healthy check you've just taken home tonight, 5k. Yeah, yeah, it's a bloody good feeling, I must say, after what happened last year especially. Yep. And, yeah, just last few seasons of stock cars, just been chipping away, getting, coming back better and better each week, and learning a lot on the way, and sort of riding out the good times, and then... Just biting your tongue through the bad times and getting through it. So, yeah, we're stoked with tonight. And credit to Cole Taylor too. He's helped us a lot get into the car, get up to speed, up and running. So, massive thank you to him. It's much appreciated. Did you have a little bit of a chat with anyone else? Because uh, those Stratford cars and, and a Nelson car were sort of working together. Yeah. Yeah, well, with the final heat, we've been such a quick turnaround. We didn't really get time to catch up with many people or know whereabouts we stood. So... It was just a matter of jumping in the car, go and see what we can do. We knew it was grid 17, so push forward from there and yeah, got the job done in the end, I suppose. When you see the boys on the pole line, and when I say the boys, I was talking about your, your Puma, now that you're a Puma, your Puma teammates. Um, what goes through your mind when you see that happening? Oh, it was a pretty good feeling, really, because they were doing a magnificent job down there. I didn't even have to use the front bumper in that final heat, just went along and did my race, and yeah, it all worked out well, I suppose.